and your lap badmos tv entertainment without bounds Gentlemen, it's been real out here, and one of my favorite memories of tonight will be how everyone came out representing their culture, their tribe, the African in us. I totally enjoyed watching that, and I hope you did too. This night will go down in history as a night we will never forget because one of our favorite movies from way back when is back again. I can't wait for you to see this movie because it's absolutely beautiful. Words cannot express how I feel right now, but I know that when you see it you will definitely say thank you to me for bringing you the red carpet tonight my name is moya sara lua and this is anyola badmas tv we've had fun bringing you tonight's event and i hope that you enjoyed it as much watching some of your favorite celebrities represent tonight it's time to go and yes i really don't want to go but i have to so i'm going to allow you watch me take this walk to victory and all-time favorites Guys, trust me when I say Bridget is on fire. Can we do what? What happened? Are you are you Princess Lisa, Queen Lisa? I'm, I'm here to take her place. Since Eddie Murphy can get and play an away match, maybe I might be lucky. You might be lucky. This is gorgeous. What inspired this? And what is? Where is it from? Okay, so this is by my friend and designer Fabric by Fabs. Um, she put the entire thing together from the gloves and everything and the headgear and then the jewelry is wow accessories uh, Yeah, last minute, but they made it work for me um, I, I'm trying to find my breath, right? <laughs> 33 years later, Bridget here. We are coming to America part 2. Did you see this coming? I didn't I didn't but when they announced it a while back like last year that David Do and a couple of other people were going to be featured in it I became excited and I was anticipating you know and now it's here finally I didn't know we we're gonna do a premiere so when I found out we we're gonna do a premiere and the theme royalty African royal what I'm like <laughs> That got me even more excited, like, let's go to the roots, you know, it's our team. Yes. We want to represent us, represent us fully. No, because we watched the first one and it inspired a lot of things in us as kids. Um, it was colorful, it was very rich, the royal thing, the African vibe that was being given was beautiful. And I just felt like, no, I had to come. I'm tempted to say Zamunda forever, but then we know that's what Wakanda. Because if we tell you, um, Wakanda is a fictional place, according to King. Uh -huh. Okay, so we're, we're going to flow with the flow, right? Just go with it. <laughs> so let me ask you, what's your favorite character from way back coming to America? Uh, my favorite character would be Lisa. I liked the fact that she played the girl that was, you know... Really? Everyone is going for Lisa. Really? <laughs> Ah, let me change my favorite character. You probably say the Baba, the owner of the Baba oh, Show. Those ones were the comic relief, and they were played by Eddie Murphy and you know what's his name? The, his Arsenal Hall, Arsenal Hall. So yeah, um, those those were hilarious. They were not my favorite characters though. Um, my favorite character was indeed Lisa. To be frank, I just loved it, and I, I can't wait to see how she reacts like a Nigerian woman when she finds out that her husband cheated. All right, so when you go in there, I hope that you will enjoy what you see. And of course, are you rooting for Davido, Recross, and rooting me in the new feature? Well, I would like to see what role he played. I'm rooting for him. Maybe that could be his debut into more Hollywood scenes, even if it's features for now, because it's not like he's a certified actor. And maybe, you know, who knows? Who knows? And all time favorites. Zamunda Kingdom. Prince, what are you? Give yourself a name. Prince P. 
always on food that is sadi. <laughs> you just had to shy. This is really nice. I love it. And of course, I know the access to come looking like way outside. You just boy, you just it choke us. I was born like this. I just I woke up like this. <laughs> you woke up like this. Sadi, we are here for coming to Africa. Did I just come to Africa? Coming to America too. Of course, Africa there our blood right now. But again, when you woke up this morning, thinking about the fact that it's finally here, that's the three years down the line. What came to mind? No lie. I was so excited and scared. Excited because it's coming to America. Scared because I just hope they bring it as much as they brought it in part one. I do not. It's a childhood memory for me, and you know how something you've grown up with, you do not want it to be spoiled. So if you are not adding, don't do anything. But I trust the team. Eddie Murphy is amazing. Asenio, they're all great actors, and I'm sure they will have brought it. And you know, a friend of mine this morning while we're talking about it on air, she was complaining about the fact that she doesn't, she didn't think that this was necessary. You know, considering they are now older, the blood, the strength is not there like they gave us. Do you also feel the same way? No, I don't. I think the fact that they've grown and they're different would add more value to the movie. Presentation of royalty tonight, but I must tell you that this one right here stands out undefeated. Prince, the prince is here and is the prince himself of the prince of Zam Zamuda. And yes, I know you can totally, totally see the jaw dropping collection you've got here. What is this, Prince? What is this? Uh, this is me trying to represent the um, Ghana royalty as much as possible. This you can see. Ghana, they call them the Gold Coast, and everything about them is gold, is royal, you know, and of course, I'm a real life prince, so I have to bring my AG. Real life prince, I love the way that all sounds. Can I just share this moment with you? <laughs> Guys, this is gorgeous. Who styled you? I was hit by the force, Swanky himself. No, no Swanky, no styling. One and only. <laughs> okay, now that we're here for coming to America, I know that the access to come just like royalty, and I must say, check. Now they told us to bring our vibes because this movie is the vibe that we need for this moment. Did you bring that? Of course I did. Of course I did. Show me, show me, show me. <laughs> How do you feel knowing that we had to wait so long for this movie to be here? Um, This movie has this has been a long time coming. I mean, we all saw this movie as kids a very, very long time ago. And the fact that they did a remake and it's... I mean, what can we expect? Of course, the best of the best are on this movie. And I know that I, I heard that the video performed in the movie, so I'm looking forward to see that. I like that you jumped the gun on that one. What do you think this will do for the video? Oh, definitely. The video is one of the biggest artists out of Africa. So also with this movie as well, it's going to, you know, give him more audience. And, and I mean, because the sky is the starting point for him. Maybe a movie award this time around. Ah, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> but who is your favorite character in this movie from way back? The Prince of Zamu. And I'm hoping I'm not going to be disappointed. Do you have that, you know, disbelief about what you're about to see? Nah. 
Are you sure? Hundred percent. Sense on what they're going to show us. Okay, let's see if it's going to work for us at the end of the day. So now, finally, you're walking into a room, right? And away from the outfit and everything, they're telling you to show you or show us how African you are. What would you do for them? How African I am. Uh, the outfit already speaks for us. No, no, just uh, apart from the outfit. I did say that, apart from the outfit. Yeah, how African I am. So I'm going to greet um, people in my language. They won't know. Yay! Thank you for talking to you. Very much for having me. See who I have here. I'm going to particularly name you Ashanti of Ghana Kingdom because you give me that Ashanti vibe and I don't know why. Who styled you? I'm Dami Oke. Okay. Oh, so gorgeous. And I know that you're excited to step out tonight knowing that this is coming to America. One of our dream, you know, movies to see. Did you see the first one? Of course I did. That's like a legendary movie. So yeah, I'm excited to see the second one because this is like like something that I've watched my whole childhood so yeah and now knowing that you had to wait 33 years for that how did you feel well I waited 24 because I'm only 24 years old but you know I feel like it's a good time to bring out something new um, like the African culture is something so huge right now and I love that they're pushing on that so yeah I'm excited who's your favorite character from the first one Eddie Murphy <laughs> but it's a Lisa oh, no 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 it's Eddie Murphy okay <laughs> <laughs> okay, so knowing that this is coming now, what do you think it will do for Africa particularly? I feel like the importance of putting Africa on the map is losing it as well. So like, I'm really happy. It puts us in a really good light. Okay, so if you're walking into a room right now and they tell you to show them how African you are, right? Away from the outfit, what would you do for them? Um, what can I do? <laughs> In fact, they will say say no more. <laughs> Thank you for talking. To Thank me. you very much. At all time favorites. Okay, I'm used to calling him the lipstick boy and that's what I'm gonna use but this time it looks like the lipstick king because you are royalty. That's exactly, that's what I'm representing. I love this. Thank you, thank you. I tried, I tried. You look like a king, maybe you could pass for a king. Yes, yes, that's what I was looking forward to. I was just, you know, trying to, you know, give you the Nigerian vibes of this right. team, man, but hey, hey. hey. So, so, I'm glad you said I killed it. Right, you did. How does it feel coming out for the movie? I'm really excited. I'm really excited to see everybody. I mean, you look gorgeous. Crown me tonight. Oh, you, you want me to? You want me? You want me? Oh, oh, there she is, Queen. Right, Queen. right. <laughs> what? What were you talking about? <laughs> that did went too far well for a minute, but don't worry. Thirty-three years later, we're out here, yeah. but again, it's been worth the wait. What was your favorite memory of the first one? Everybody keeps asking me this question, and forget that I'm probably like I wasn't born then. <laughs> well, but I. I you, were, you were in the wall. I was, I was, I was somewhere. I was somewhere. <laughs> but I, I think like it's quite interesting. I'm really looking forward to it, and I'm. I just know clips of part one. I didn't watch the full thing, but I'm really looking forward to part two. Yeah. And knowing that we have Davido in this one, when you heard that he was gonna be in it, how did that make you feel? Davido. I've said this everywhere. I am so excited. Like that's what I'm most excited for. Cause I'm like, David, it's up, it's up, it's up. I'm really excited. I'm back. Say it again. Tony, how are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. I was going to say Tony Makanaki, but my worry. What's she doing, Tony? How do you feel coming out tonight? I feel good. It's good to see everyone here. It's good to see everyone dressed up. I feel good to be here. I can't wait to see the movie. And you went to select hostel for us. Give them. Uh -uh. They come up and be shaking for them. <laughs> the African thing is making me go my tribal way, and that's totally fine. How did you feel when you heard about the fact that there's going to be a part two for coming to America? Obviously, everyone is excited. We can't wait to see the movie because we saw the first one, and we can't wait to see the one as well. 
definitely we know it's going to be a bomb so i know you're so much of a love person and the story is about love in all its form right are you going to have any moments in there where you're just going to be like oh <laughs> definitely we are the god when gang <laughs> so definitely i'm going to have those moments definitely so if you were to give this movie right that push as to how far it represents Africa, what would you say this movie would do for us as Africans? Definitely a good okay, so spot on TV. Hi, how are you? I like the theme for us, African reality. You can see everyone is dressed in their different attires. You just get queens, prince, different places. So it's actually good. And I'll give it over 10. Because I don't want to give them 10, I'll give them 8. Eight doing Africa justice. I love it, and I hope you have fun tonight. Yeah, inside. thank you very much. You look good. So turn around, spin it. And all time favorites. I'm back. Say it again. Oh, I'm trying to find the word. Hello, dear Zamunda. Right. That's the energy. No energy. That's the energy. I love it. Well, this is that. You're not bad. Someone listen. Ah, if you didn't watch, you're not bad. Hello, oh my dear. Well, Yemi Fuwa, how do you feel, What's Kiki? It? I know that we're asked to come looking like royalty, and this represents us in all its form. Kindly announce me and that is the attire for me. Um, shout out to our mommy. She is the universal mommy now, ain't it? Ngozi, uh, we are alive. I'm back. Say it again. Okay, so I have Prince Ozo here, but he's going to tell us where he's from. I will say Zamunda this time around. So, Prince Ozo, where are you from? Uh, I'm from Imo, actually. So, I don't know, actually, I think my outfit just has like lots of an urban vibe to it. That's just what it is. So, yeah, I'm just hoping I stay enjoy the movie. And uh, yeah, I think that's just what it is for me, to be honest. I love it anyways, and I know that we're supposed to bring our royalty, Africaness, and you did that with this outfit. I totally love it. We are here for coming to America, and yes, it comes with a lot of feelings, right? Yeah. You're thinking, what's, what's going to happen this time around? You're thinking, how are we going to you know, sit back and just watch something exactly. after 33 years? Are you, are you thinking what I'm thinking? No, I think for me it's like it's, it's an iconic movie. So now there's a second part. You just hope the second part is going to be as iconic as the first part is. So that's just what my mindset is for sure. So what's your favorite memory about the first one? Um, the fights in uh, in Mac at McDonald's. The fights where like they had to use, like the mob stick and stuff. Semi and yeah, uh, that, that had to be like my best part. I can remember that, and that's why I'm laughing so hard. This one has some of our favorite people on it. There's Red Timmy, there's the video, you know, the featured in it. Do you think that would do anything for us as Nigerians? Like I said, uh, my, it's, it's good to see Nigerians like take talent or whatever stuff they have like outside the shores. Like it shows uh, that these individuals are good at what they do. So I, I think it's, it's always nice for sure. All right, great. So you're walking into a room right now and they're asking you to show how African you are. Away from the outfit and all that stuff, they just want to see you represent Africa. What's the first thing you would do? First thing on that, we're actually, they're actually humble and respectful people in Nigeria as well. So that's going to be my first thing I'll do. I love it. Thank you so much for talking to us. Thank you for having me.